as I mentioned, um, so we know that o uh, overdose deaths are have been rapidly increasing in, in the United States, and there, and that opioid overdose deaths are preventable. Treatment is an important strategy. Avoiding use and avoiding risky use is an important strategy. An additional strategy, particularly being taken up by public health and public health departments, as well as harm reduction and syringe exchange, um, is layperson distribution of a, of a medicine called naloxone. Uh, the brand name uh, is Narcan. So right now in all states, it has become legal for lay people to carry and learn to recognize an overdose and administer naloxone to somebody who is potentially overdosing, meaning that they have stopped or significantly slowed their breathing due to an opioid. Many community-based organizations are eligible to register as what's called an Opioid Overdose Prevention Program, an OOPP. OOPPs can um, then, under a clinical director, train lay people and dispense naloxone to people at risk for overdose or the social, or anyone really, the social networks of people at risk, friends, families, loved ones. There have been many, many overdoses reversed through lay person distribution of naloxone. These are excellent ways to get out the reversal medication to people at risk and prevent the fatal overdose. In our training, it's very important to also indicate that people should call 911. I think right now there are a number of health professions, uh, organizations, institutions that are beginning to distribute naloxone routinely either by prescription or direct dispensing to patients who may be at risk. So who's at risk? We've been talking about patients with substance use disorders and, and certainly patients with substance use disorders are at risk for relapse and in if they are, uh, were to relapse, they are certainly at risk for overdose. We are encouraging, uh, therefore, programs that are taking care of people with substance use disorders, primary care physicians who are treating patients with buprenorphine, emergency department physicians who are taking care of people with uh, coming in for an overdose, to all consider prescribing or dispensing naloxone. In addition, we are also working with uh, physicians who may be pain medicine physicians or physicians prescribing opioids for chronic pain to also can to offer naloxone to their patients and there has been some now scientific evidence uh, showing that this is acceptable to patients acceptable and feasible for primary care doctors and may well decrease risk-taking behavior that is if you have a physician or other clinician saying to you I'm concerned about your opioid use, whether it's prescribed use or non-prescribed use. I'm concerned about you and your health. I want to teach you about naloxone. Here's a prescription or here's a kit. Um, consider keeping it around. Consider showing your family uh, how to use it in case of, of an opioid emergency, in case something goes wrong and you experience uh, adverse effects from the opioid. And we know many lives are saved. We know in our a study that we conducted here at New York City Health Department, looking at a cohort who was, were trained over a year-long period, uh, about a third of the people who were trained went on to use their naloxone on somebody that they saw overdosing. Uh, so we think that in, in this opioid overdose epidemic, treatment, and particularly medication-assisted treatment as we've been discussing, or me using medications for addiction treatment, uh, is one part of the piece, puzzle, and widespread naloxone is another piece, as well as raising public awareness, as well as doing important prevention work around more careful opioid prescribing and raising people's awareness about the risks of opioids.